Do you remember your first meeting with Rodman? That was awful. I walk into Jerry Cross's house. He's sitting on a couch. He's got a pool boy hat over his eyes. He's got the rings in his nose and his mouth. And he doesn't stand up to meet me. So I said, stand up, Dennis. Take your hat off, shake hands. Let's go outside and talk. We had to break bread then at the house. So basically he said, Dennis, you want to come play for the Bulls? I said, I don't care. Whatever. What's up? When Dennis wants to tell me something, I know it's not something that I don't fucking want to hear. Dennis says, I need a vacation. And I look at Phil and say, Phil, what do you mean, vacation? He says, he needs a vacation. He needs some time off to let loose. If anybody needs a fucking vacation, I need a vacation. We look at Dennis and say, Dennis, what are you going to do? He says, well, I need to go to Vegas. Can your vacation be like 48 hours? Go straight to the airport. Boom. They don't hear and see Dennis for 48 hours. I went to the fucking Vegas. <laughs> hey, Dennis, come back on time. Mm-mm. <laughs> He didn't come back on time. We had to go get his ass out of bed. You know, and I'm not going to say what's in his bed and where he was and blah, blah, blah. There's a knock on the door. It's Michael Jordan. And I hid. I, 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 didn't, I didn't want him to see me like that. So I, like, I'm just like hiding behind the couch with covers over me. Come on. You, we got to get to practice. Dennis Rodman, once again, was nowhere to be found. Was it, it like true that Dennis good. wasn't at practice today? That's true. <laughs> Is that an excuse, Dennis? No, it's not. What, what's, what transpired? I don't know. He's not here. A heavyweight title. And with Rod Silla in the house, there will be no stopping. Oh, my goodness. That is Rodman. Dennis's sideshow. Is it a reality check for the Bulls? It's called it love. I think Mike had a lot of confidence in me to knowing that I'm going to be there for him. I'm not going to let him down. I'm not going to let the team down. I mean, this is what held us together when Scotty was up. He had to really focus to make us as competitive as we were. Go on. Go on. Go on. They pay for your fine. Huh? <laughs> they pay for my fine, see? <laughs> see what I'm saying? Huh? All people that's in the business are crooked, too. I'm letting you know now. That was Craig Sager gave me 20 bucks to pay for my fine. Sound like a bribe. That's what I'm saying. He must want to interview. He wants something. That's his problem. The thing about this team, people don't understand. It's just not basketball that we have to deal with on this team. It's not just bad. It's, it's, it's the pressure of... of, of the bullshit, you know, I play the game for free, but it, you get paid for the bullshit <laughs> after. Basketball is simple, it's a simple game. But when you leave this, 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 this confined zone, it's hard, it's hard. Hey, Dennis. Let me know when you're gonna set a back screen on. You set that screen right there, so when you want me to open it up, just hold him. If you have to switch out, switch out. I can stop Houston right there. The hook's not turning around. I can stop him right there as you catch up. When the, ball, when, when the clock was running down, he set that screen and beat over the top. Switch in that situation. I remember one time I was working with Dennis, and then Chuck called me over and he said, just leave him alone. You don't put a saddle on a Mustang. <laughs>